Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Control. Last episode we uh, finished the game, the game proper. Uh, we are we we got rid of the hiss. Well, closed the portal to the hiss dimension, and we saved Dylan. I guess we certainly removed the hiss from his mind, uh, and he's now in a coma. We are officially the director of the FBC. We've got some fancy clothing to go along with it, and uh, I don't know, not so stylish hairstyle in my opinion, but what do I know? What do I know about style, really? Um, we made, what's wrong with your eyes, Jesse? You all right? We made Emily Pope head of research, uh, looking, the way, looking to find a way to officially get rid of the hiss once and for all. Uh, we talked with Arish, who said that Marshall is um, AWOL at the moment. Well, not AWOL. She didn't leave, but we don't know where she is. Don't know if that's going to come up in part of the side quest somewhere, but as of right now, we don't know where she is. Um, the board has... Uh, I think we're now officially in DLC territory, the Foundation, uh, which is talk to the board. And that's what we are going to do next. Um, we do have quite a bit of side missions left. Uh, we still got to do Langston's Runaways. There might be even more after this because this is technically part two. Because we did clear off uh, the first set uh, in one of the earlier videos. We still got to do the jukebox stuff. Um, I think it's just like uh, survival rounds or horde modes, something like that. Don't know exactly what's going on. Old friends, uh, we still had to find Arisha's old buddies and uh, save them from the hiss. Um, we still got to do Underhill's, uh, what is this? Eliminate the mold host. So Underhill's side quest of eradicating the mold. Uh, Ati um, to get, getting rid of the mold in the maintenance sector. We did a little bit of that last episode. I think there was like one or two left. We just couldn't find them. Got to take a good look at them. Got to take a good look around for them. Shoom, uh, complete one of the arcade games. So there was an arcade mode where it was like a horde mode, which seemed to last for roughly half an hour per setting. And there were like multiple arcades. There was Shoom 1, Shoom 2. So we'll hopefully get to that today. Uh, return to Sender. We found a an envelope, uh, one of those chain letter things from back in the day when people used to get like if you want a million dollars or if you want good fortune mail this to 10 other people um to do that uh the foundation talk to the foundation talk to the board and locate the hiss corrupted tomasi who basically in the third episode i want to say second or third episode we fought him he run away and have yet to see him again and apparently now he's been sighted in the containment sector but for right now, uh, we're going to go talk to the board, which we have. Hi, someone want to talk to me? Um, we do have um, a direct There's no way this line to, uh, or direct route rather, to the hotline from our Marshall's office. Back. Never. It's not like her to be absent for I'll be here waiting for you when you wake up, brother. Ah. Uh. So this is where Dylan if is. You wake up. Yeah, so uh Emily did say that uh Dylan is in a coma <laughs> and uh he's in a containment sector. This is where he is, obviously. So we'll keep track of him every now and then. You heard the director okay. stop the hiss, right? Uh yeah, that I did. I certainly did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, posted room. Uh, there were actually still some areas, some notes I have of uh, level 6 rooms that we couldn't enter. So we'll have to go back to those as well. Okay, so I believe this was a direct route to the hotline. Mm, yes. And the phone's ringing. Or it's one to talk to us. Even if it was a dream, I feel Darling reached out to me through the hotline. 
I have a feeling he and Trench won't be the only callers from the beyond. Yeah. So that was another thing I uh, didn't really talk about uh, during the during my closing thoughts of the game. We don't really empirically know what happened to Darling. We got his final message, and he basically said, like, he's he's done. It seemed like it was unclear what he was going to do, but he it really seemed like he was uh, going to delete himself uh, or give himself up to the hiss or something like that. Apparently, he's done something else. Uh, don't know exactly what he did. Maybe um, his consciousness... Maybe he melded with the board or something. Maybe he gave himself up to the board. I, I don't. We don't know. Maybe this DLC will help. Um, you know, give us an actual uh, fate for Darling, because Darling's a pretty tragic character. I, I will admit he's he's actually my he's probably actually my favorite character in this. He was very misunderstood. Uh, I misjudged him. We all did. Uh, well, everyone did. Um, and I like to see him get some kind of, um, you know, uh, some sort of a proper ending. To this is George Christ. Uh oh, in foundation. Demand your moxie. All right. You open the door, tree maintenance. Hurry, post haste. Post haste. The problem in the foundation. That was Ati's vacation spot. We need to check this out. Let's do it. You know what we're gonna do? It. The fuck? Did I miss this last time? Butte supplement. Okay. I, I don't know how I missed that last time. According to their testimony, the agents had been transported from the Butte home to a roadside motel in the Ocean View Motel and Casino and discovered a room key by performing a ritual. Uh, C file MOT01. The key opened a door mark with an inverted black sim pyramid, which they only learned after a lengthy period of trial and error. After pulling another motel cord found inside this room, they were transported to the oldest house. The disappearances of the, owner, the home's owner and the other locals of Butte have been attributed to the light switch cord. The Ocean View Motel is now known to have many doorways, doors and pathways. I think we've read this. I feel like we've read this before. Maybe it's uh, a double or something. I don't know. Sorry, that was me. Accidentally pressed the telekinesis button. There's another one again. Alberto Tomasi, head of comms. Well done, everyone. It was a strong campaign and perfectly executed. The hiss got him. Yeah. Did I miss that too last time? What the fuck? Guess that wasn't as thorough as I thought. You're mine now, boy. Ow. That was... That, that is very uncalled for. Extremely uncalled for. Where are you? I need to kill you so I can get your health. Okay, seriously. What is going on? Why are people so invisible all of a sudden? Shooting. 
Oh, there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, then. Ah, I wanted to get the headshot. That was my bad. Could have easily killed him. That's it. It's all of you. Fuck all of you. Every last one of you. Okay, so I want to go to the basement. Bold countermeasures. Let's collect the reward. Uh, this one is all right. Maybe executive sector, entertainment sector. With a sniper. What the heck just happened? That was weird. My game just minimized. Uh, we'll do that one, I guess. I guess. Abilities, might as well give them out now. Because, why not? Uh, let's do... Seize additional enemy. Seize duration. And... I guess seize duration. Hey, you know what? I'm okay. Alright, fast travel. We want to go to maintenance. The Blackrock Quarry area, eh? Restricted area. So I guess, yeah, foundation. That's where we want to go. I also want to see, actually, if there's any areas we're still missing. Yeah. There's one just to the left of parapsychology. You still don't know how to fuck to get there. Uh, what about here? Nothing that I can see. I think here we're all good. And here we're all good. So just over here, to the left of parapsychology. Just north of parakinesiology. Yeah, I have to figure out how to get there. Okay, so foundation. That's where we want to go for now. Quiet, transdimensional. <laughs> this place really suits Ati. Especially the transdimensional part. So that etching is the door. Okay, let's try opening it. Does kind of look like tree-ish. All right. Ooh, trippy. From one loading screen to another. Foundation. No time for sightseeing. The board said this was an emergency. What sightseeing? It's pitch black. There's nothing to fucking see. Research site gamma. Looks like no one's been down here in a while. Yeah, no shit. Is this sand or is it just like heavy deposits of iron everywhere? Oh god. I'm getting Resident Evil 7 vibes. Like near the end of the game with the underground lab. With, um,. What's his name? The Sun? 
forgot his name. Hmm. The crystals are kind of pretty. Emily would be having a field day down here. Yeah. What's that light? Yeah. Is that sunlight? Doesn't look like sunlight. I hope it's sunlight. Alright, what's this? My life's been a strange one. Certainly stranger than I'd like. But this place, it's something else. The floors crawl, the walls slither, it's a shifting pit. On the street, it's just another drab building standing there for anyone to see. But no one does. How do we miss it? Northmore. Acting director in Northmore now is on a train from Washington. He'll expect answers, which is why I'm making these tapes. They're evidence that I'm at least trying to understand. Father searched his entire life for something like this, and we find it one week after he's buried. He always hated irony. Of course, Father, the great director, Ash, would have been the first man in. And look at me, his bookworm son. The supposed head of research who can't stop his legs from shaking long enough to step over the threshold. So this is from a long time ago. Deep cavern. Okay. Here? Ah. Really? I thought I was being smart. Okay, guess I can't get that now. Research site delta. Let's do it. The foundation key. Bottom of the oldest house. Stop the hiss. Marshall? How is she on the hotline? Unless she's dead. Oh, Jesus. She seemed like the kind of woman who could survive anything. Well, I guess we potentially found the fate of Marshall. So multimedia is what we just heard with, uh, with Ash. Yeah, Ash tapes. I only heard of the Foundation when I became head of operations. The very bottom of the oldest house. Director access only. Just the name alone is classified. Zachariah gave me a tour the day I was promoted. Said I should see it for myself to understand. After that, I snuck down on my own from time to time to keep tabs on the place. And on them. But nothing ever changed down there. Not even the walls. It's solid. Permanent. Different from the rest of the house. Of course, they were always watching me. I never stayed long. I'm not stupid. I have to stop the hiss from finding this place. I'm the only one who can. Hmm. That is very unfortunate. Oh, that is blinding. Alright, so it's not the sun out there. It is... Um... Oh! Oh, that was, that was so fucking close. I don't know what happened there. Uh, it is a form of a void, it looks like. Oh, what is that shit?
Seems like there's a bunch of ways to go. Potentially. That looks like death. Although there is something there. There's a box. Um, I probably can't get that because I don't have... Um, I haven't leveled up my floating ability to last that long. But I'm not too worried about these boxes because all they, they don't really give anything I'm going to miss, really. so white I can barely see. And here you go. You mind now, buddy boy. You'll protect me. You're my friend. Um, you, you know that, like, Polaris thing that came up when she cleansed the thing? Polaris is dead. I don't even know if that thing should exist anymore. How many points did I have? Three? Uh, how much is it to level this up to? Nah, it's not worth it. Not right now, anyway. So why can't we get these? Deep cavern. Because where we are is not deep enough. We are... Oh my god. This is abysmal! Ha 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 ha! Those paintings look old. Like, old, old. What paintings? Oh, these paintings. I mean, can you, how can you tell? At first, I thought the cave paintings in the Foundation chronicled ancient humans' encounters with natural occurrences like weather, but it soon became clear they depicted events far outside the average human experience. Also, it seems I was wrong to assume the images are ancient. Radiocarbon dating suggests something impossible, that I've been down here longer than the paintings. That's absurd, though. The style and medium clearly indicate a Paleolithic origin. I was ready to conclude that the ancient community of humans lived in or around the oldest house. Now, with this information, I don't know what to think. Is one of our agents drawing these? Or is there something down here with us? This place is a, has a habit of skewing my results, so perhaps the data is corrupted. Or perhaps some paintings were created at different times. The art does not seem to chronicle... The art does seem to chronicle not only the past, but also the present, and possibly even the future. I see in them echoes of the board, some linear architecture, even what could be interpreted as a director. Are the paintings telling a story of, that's still being written? If so, who's writing it? Is that Alan Wake? Um, I guess. Why can I not break your... I must break you. To get to your gooey innards. Oh, so, oh my, oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Am I trampling all over? Oh, shit. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Klutzy director. What are you gonna do? Oh, did you trip? Oh, shit. 
Wow. I've never seen you kind of guys before. You want to go, bro? God, guys, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Oh my god. Seriously. I don't know if you guys noticed. They were throwing them and getting them back. Like retrieving them. What are they also pair of utilitarians? Ay, ay, ay. How did they get a tractor down here? Let me guess. Crack? No. God, actually, let me take it. Uncust energy recovery. Ooh, a document. Please let me read. Relocation order. Tom! You missed the good news. I'm sure the official memo will go out soon, but the Northmore, but Northmore is calling in all hands on the crossroads to announce we're finally moving out of the out of this hellhole and up into the house proper. Bureau Brass apparently solved the moving walls problem. Or at least figured out a way to pinpoint where and when they'll happen. All I know is going up means goodbye darkness, goodbye weird lunches with that ex-Nazi scientist, and goodbye pissing into the pit. I know that was you, Barry. Northmore is ordering the Foundation sealed as soon as we can haul our stuff out and somehow convince Ash to come with us. He's the only one kicking up a fuss. This is long overdue. We've lost 11 men and damn near $10,000 in supplies moving between the entrance and the foundation. And for what? Research? Ash is batty if he thinks we want to stay here and sift through more sand for him. It's just rusted iron flakes anyway. Did you know that? We were breathing that shit in. Yeah, that's not good. Breathing any, any kind of metallic uh, residue like that? Oh. For like weeks? Definitely not good. Crossroads. That's, uh... It's not a good sign. Beware of tox dangerous toxic geysers. Okay. Hey, you geysers. Nothing up here? Well, thank you for letting me be able to go up there. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Because there was another way down there. I don't know where I'm going, guys. Looks like up there was another area. Yeah. Leads us. Oh. Wait, what? Is this the same area? Try that one again. Because for some reason. Oh no. That's what's going on. It's higher than it looks because the cave. 
goes up like that, the... What's it called? The, um, the ceiling. Foundation accident. Mr. Wilder, I have some bad news. You remember that Robert Ricardo fellow we brought in as a special consultant to map the lower caves? Well, today he found a chamber with weird eyes covering every inch of the walls and a strange black pillar in the center. Kind of looks like the one at the crossroads, but smaller. We had a bureau member shadowing him, but whatever happened in there did a great did a number on our guests. The docs are taking a look, but it's pretty clear Mr. Adventure's exploring days are over. I know we were careful to limit this guy's exposure to the non-ordinary. Drugging him and carrying him through the upper floor was a real hoot, by the way. But we really need to reevaluate our policies on external contractors. Honestly, we'd be better off forming a special division trained in repelling and orienteering than subject subjecting more outsiders to the shit we deal with. They m almost always end up dead or loony, Marcus. We have a... Yeah, the Sharpened. So, they're called. Momentary Time Manipulation. Inhibiting the witness's sense of sight. Interesting. Okay. What is... Charge Blast Boost. I'm curious to see this crossroads now. The astral plane is cutting into our dimension. What if this happens in the upper floors? It'll destroy the Bureau. Yeah, that it will. <laughs> See anything? have that guy. And you can fall down. Who be shooting? Where are you? Wow, I broke the rock just by walking through it. Ah, yeah. Really? Astral copy. With the astral plane now physically accessible, a torrent of new information has been collected on the entities known as astral copies. The copies' bodies are composed of a dense stone-like material that is both resilient under controlled circumstances and brittle when struck with significant force. Whether the astral copies possess individual consciousness or are directed by higher intelligence, such as the board, remains unknown. However, their shared aggression seems to indicate a unified goal. Director Faden's encounters with these entities when binding objects of power in the astral plane indicate they serve as live targets for potential peri-utilitarians to practice on. Some have been equipped with bureau weaponry, though it seems unlikely they were armed by our personnel. It's important to note they appear immune to his corruption. Thanks for that report. Actually, let's get a good look at these guys. Yeah, you guys are definitely made of stone. Down you go. Okay. So... Nothing up here. Yeah. 
I wish I'd brought Emily with me. I could really use my head of research right about now. Who's talking to you? There's no Polaris. Well, there's a Faden Polaris or Jesse Polaris, whatever it was called. Marshall? Marshall! You're alive! Where do you see Marshall? Wait! It's Jesse! The director! I... Was she here? I didn't even see her. Whoa. This place is huge. I was right. Marshall? Can you hear me? She was on the hotline, so that person couldn't have been Marshall, right? One problem at a time. Let's see what's going on with that pillar first. Um, before we even do that, I thought there were supposed to be, like, eyes everywhere. Alright. I claim this control point. Investigate the nail, right? Alright, lab... I thought that was a file or something. Lab first. What's going on here? What's going on? Okay. That, that is the most... That is the most lightweight uh, file cabinet I've ever seen. Especially for its size. Why did the clock stop at quarter to four? Huh? Tell me. What does that say? Send to 325. Monday, 10. Um, excuse me. Thank you. That was rude. It's been five days since we first entered the building. Traversing the interior is dangerous due to the shifting, but we did manage to find a lower cavern that seems structurally predictable, which is a scientific way of saying its walls won't crush us in our sleep. Northmore even made a discovery. A pistol placed on a stone pedestal in front of that strange ebony pillar. Seems like something out of a storybook, except the hero usually finds swords, not handguns. But it is the perfect lure for someone like him. Hours after finding this weapon, Northmore cornered me to spout some nonsense about how the board had made him the director. He ran it about the title being meaningless before now, calling father and all other previous directors shams, frauds, and worse. I think this place is worse for Northmore than it is for me. Strangest thing? There was no pedestal in front of that pillar a day ago. This building has swallowed a dozen of my men, and now it's handing out presents? Is it playing some sort of game? If it is, we're most certainly losing. Hell, we don't even know the rules. So I guess this is where we got the gun and first met the board, eh? That's crazy. Holy shit, look how far that goes. Oh my god. God, look at that. Uh, I want to go there. <laughs> no, there's no way. Seriously, look how far that fucking goes. Foundation pillar. The pillar found in the crossroads is best described as, best described as an onyx spike that protrudes from the cave floor like an imposing stalagmite. Despite its aggressive silhouette, the structure has an undeniable allure. Freud would certainly have something to say about the pillar's overly erect nature. But I'm more drawn to Whitmore's essays on dynamic layers, structures within structures, the fractal mirror in every being. Given its significant location, I believe the pillar is either the very heart of the oldest house or an intrusion within that heart. Or perhaps it's like the husk of a seed from which the oldest house sprouted. Trottier wrote that great architecture isn't built, it grows. But then why does the pillar look so different from the rest of the, this place's concrete walls and rocky caverns? 
It's easier to see it as an anomaly, a buried artifact. Form body, a demonic, a demonic phallus. I wonder if this pillar is any more welcome here than we are. That's an interesting way of looking at it. Ley lines. The only thing about I know about ley lines is from Supernatural. <laughs> For all my research into the oldest house's ley lines, I still don't understand why they converge here at the base of this pillar. I suppose the simplest reason is that they have to converge somewhere. Occam's razor and all that. I guess that's why this place is called the Crossroads, because the ley lines meet. But that seems wrong. The esoteric world abhors coincidence. So what is the true relationship between this pillar and the ley lines? Does it act as a magnet, attracting them? Polar north? Or is the pillar a product of their focused energies? Oh, excuse me. A sprout nourished by the constant flow of the oldest house's power. Perhaps classifying that power would provide some insight. However, we currently have no means of measuring or quantifying it. Given time, it may become possible to collect and even harness this energy. On that note, Northmore is bringing in the much lauded Dr. Gustav Wagner from headquarters to DC to aid my research. I suppose this is his way of saying he doesn't trust me to work unsupervised. Let's just hope Dr. Wagner is as smart as he is as his dearly departed Fuhrer once believed him to be. Wow. So that's the ex Nazi, I guess? And my game just crashed. Okay, sorry about that. I don't know what happened, but I had to restart the game. that I'm terrible at like identifying what what all this stuff looks like or even means um, I don't know the bottom looks like some kind of monster everyone else looks like they're elevated up to the prism I don't know I, again I'm terrible at interpreting this kind of stuff Jesse has nothing to say about this. No. Apparently not. Yay. 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 Alright, so we cannot go through there. Canyon Rim. So we gotta go to the nail. the astral plane left to right only one is permitted so I can only choose one I thought I was done with these tests left or right what was it must choose one and only one of the tools presented to her. Oh. Okay, so we either pull out... Or we destroy the crystals. Oh, that's a gun. So right will grant a gun, fractures, and the left grant shape or manipulate. So we want to destroy or do we want to build? I like to think we're more of a builder than a destroyer. 
I'll go with that one. Complete the Astro Plane Challenge. I do feel handled. Very much so. So they only last a short time. Maybe like 10 seconds or so. Good to know. Certain crystal formations crumble after push. Yep. I kind of gather that. It's kind of a little much. I, 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 I get the ability. I don't need, like, this man to loosen the four locks, keys, or MacGuffins. Um, there, I guess. Nail would be repaired. PS bonus round. Hiss our president and foundation. Yeah, I noticed. Dangerously sharp points. Oh, cool. Crystal's gonna be shipped while levitating the great platforms. Yeah, I, I know, I did it already. Mr. Bo- oh my god, it's so big. Okay, let's head back. Okay, let's review. This broken pillar is called the nail. It was broken by something, and now the astral plane is bleeding into the foundation, which will destroy the oldest house, the bureau, and everyone inside. I need to find four locks, or keys, or whatever, to stop that from happening. But I'm the director. I've handled worse. This should be simple. Ish. You with me? I'm glad you know what's going on. Uh, okay, so we did get some stuff here. Lucky item manifest. Oh, ley lines. Yeah, okay, that's just what we got uh, earlier. Hotline. Shit. Oh, here, rituals. Makes sense. All right. Probably should have gotten the uh, breakable ones. 
So I'm assuming we can get to that platform by this. Oh. Maybe. There we go. shining and let me know you're here. For a second I was like, what the fuck is that? Is that a... Is that a bullet? I not control you guys. I wonder why you guys are fighting each other. It's very weird that they're fighting each other. That's how I can get these items here. So I'll be able to get some items, but not all. Yeah, makes sense. That's enough for you. So one might wonder who's firing those guns. But one might also wonder how all this is under the oldest house. Did I grab him? Yeah, fuck right off, buddy. Uh, why is there still combat music? What? What? Oh, hi. Fun. Not so much fun. Oh god. I'm sorry for all you tryptophobia fan uh, guys. I'm really sorry.
Okay, there. Um. I want to go through there. Probably should have gone for the bullet thing. Seems like it's the quicker way to go. It's supposed to this create. This area looks newer. Is it from the upper floors? Okay, that alone is worth it. Where does this go? Go up there. Complete the ritual in the collapse department. All right. Oh, hello. What the fudge? There's something behind that pistol. Yeah, about that. Entry and filing. Imagine I have to come all this way just to file. Are you fucking kidding me? Um, can you open door, please? Shift account part one. To whoever finds this, I'm Continuum Processes designer Gene Gibbs. And I'm writing this document. I'm writing to doc. I am writing this to document the largest building shift to ever occur. Here are the facts. A considerably large section of the containment sector, including the processes and protocols offices, our research facilities, and a fair chunk of the firebreak has been yanked down to a chasm that reaches far below lobby level, I think. It was a violent shift, and I regret to report several casualties. Injuries were sustained by all, but many of us, myself included, are still mobile. We've set up a base camp and started triaging. There are little, little supplies. We explored our surroundings and found caverns of all things. Maybe we're in some kind of cave threshold, like the quarry? Wherever we are, we're not the first. There were some rusty power cores, old lights, signs, infrastructure. What was this area used for? Why did they seal it off? Why have we never heard of it? More importantly, how are we going to get out? Dun, dun, dun. Spoilers, they don't. I'm assuming I don't actually know. Key of Summary. A series of reverberating sounds observed in downtown Kiev with no clear point of origin. The event was witnessed by the city's general public. Mental and physical symptoms were reported, including aphasia, sleep paralysis, and excess blank in the reported individuals. Due to the brief nature of the event, overseas bureau agents were not able to respond while it was active. Immediately upon arrival, agents collected audio recordings taken by local witnesses. All bureau monitoring stations located at global junctions of acoustic amplification were directed to monitor any auditory events of similar pitch, wavelength, and duration in an effort to trace echoes or epicenters. In the following weeks, similar cases were reported from both various amateur sources and bureau stations in major cities across the globe. 
the subsequent events diminish in time in volume and frequency per each occurrence. The event is believed to be generated by planar friction, though this is not confirmed. That'd be one hell of a planar shift. All right, let's see what's going on on this side of the oldest house. Hello, oh my god, that's some high areas. Hello, I hear hiss. I see hiss. Why can't I not control these hiss? So, Get him, my minions. I said get him, my minions. I said get him, my minions. Oh my god. Fucking useless. Did not see that guy in there. Are we a winner? Nope. We got a snipper. Oh, fuck me. Wants to say hi. Are you fucking kidding me? How did he get up there? down there. Oh, they teleport. And that would, uh... Yeah, I'd go like that, bitch. <sighs> Alright. Even though we shot up half the place, no lights. Doesn't look like there's any documents to read, or any files to play, or anything like that. Uh, 
God knows if there's any in here, though. These type of rooms. That's where we're supposed to go. Let's take a quick look around. Alright, you know what? Nothing. There's nothing here. Let's just move on. This freaking place. Alright. What about washroom? Anything in the washroom? <laughs> Someone call a plumber. Did I get did I get him? Um Okay. Computer program. Dear House of Representatives, my husband Francis read an article before he died about how the universe was really just a computer program. He believed it. I thought it sounded silly, but now I think he was right. I just watched the Matrix movie and it all seemed to make sense. Neo was the one. We are all connected to the Matrix. Morpheus will never die. Francis was hit by a car a few months ago, a drunk driver. I don't think it was supposed to happen. <laughs> You mean your husband dying before his time? Uh, no. My neighbor's son Jeremy broke one of our windows with a football a week before Francis died. Francis yelled at Jeremy for it. He was a bit harsh. This is important because I see Jeremy on his computer through their living room window. He's on it all the time. His mother says he's a computer whiz. I think Jeremy's operating the computer program and he changed the universe so that driver would hit Francis. He did it to get back at Francis for yelling at him. Is there a way to change computer and make Francis come back? I have some money if it's expensive. I don't know how these things work. I don't care if Jeremy gets in trouble or not. I just want Francis to come home. Francis and I were very happy together. I can feel him not being here, and I know it's not right. Sincerely, Stephanie, Stephanie Miller. Francis Miller. No idea who, if that's supposed to be a reference to something. The only Millers I know are uh, Frank and Mark. Both writers. Both movie and comic book writers. Is that something? That's a door. Okay. Ah, no. Oh, wait. I don't know how I did that. But I did it. That's actually kind of funny. Whoa. <laughs> it wouldn't let me go back there. I lost quite a bit of life on that. Fuck you. Fuck you for being curious. Hello? Yay. A totally worthless area. Okay. Where are we going now? Collapsed apartment. This is all still the collapsed apartment. I'm assuming.
Okay, so that's where we're supposed to go. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Nope. I cannot break that. What did you say to me? I think that thing booped at me. How rude. How fucking unbelievably rude. We got we got clearance. We got fucking clearance. We got fucking clearance. recesses of possibility for more than 29 years. We have another letter from a listener. This one's unsigned, but postmarked from Toledo. It says, Dear America Overnight, I have the most wonderful appliance for your listeners. It is a miracle of God. A fondue set. A fountain. A blessed gift. Blessed is spelled with a capital B. Hmm. Go on, they write. Dive on in. It is molten hot. Perfect for meat. No signature. As far as I know, no fondue set was sent to us here at the studio. Just this letter. Wait. Did there something else in the envelope? Some kind of black powder? With white shards in it? Karen can't hear you anymore. Okay, a supplement. Recordings of the audio phenomena were uploaded onto the internet shortly after the event. These records circulated rapidly on popular message boards. The communications department utilizes this exposure by creating sky trumpet hoax videos and posting related theories to spread confusion and draw attention away from the event's paranatural origin. Industrial noise, particularly the sound of metallic drilling, was found to be a widely accepted explanation. Theories on the sounds emanating from the earth itself, known as seismic hum, emerged from the public itself and were encouraged by the Bureau to generate further misdirection and eventual public disinterest. Witnesses of the event were monitored discreetly afterwards. Observed symptoms were consistent with blank deprivation, but subsided after 12 to 15 days. The length of the symptoms directly correlated to the individual's proximity, unsheltered, to the supposed epicenter. One linked, although accidental, causality can be listed. Uh, see report re the effects of planar friction on hearing aids. On hearing aids? Interesting. And uh, this is the... What is it, a miracle overnight? Yeah. Beep, beep. Oh, that's where I came from, right? Uh, we, we weren't here, right? Yeah, we weren't here. Okay, all right. Gibbs reporting in. It has been eight days since the collapse and still no sign of any rescue efforts. The Bureau is either completely unaware of our situation or are incapable of helping us. Or maybe is intentional. 
How many times have we seen the Bureau not give me two shits about its own hardworking staff when they go missing in this place? How many times did we let it slide, thinking, oh, at least it wasn't me? Too many, I'm ashamed to admit. Anyway, there have been some developments. Strange crystals have begun growing through the walls. They seem to block some corridors, but not others. The path to the caves is always left open, but we're not sure why. Luckily, crystals kept out of the astral spike. One's been hounding us for days. John, Nicolay, and Sarah went to try and find a radio, but never came back. We think the spike got him. I think it's hunting us. Duck says spikes only exist in the astral plane, so what the fuck is it doing here? If we get out of here, I'm hiring a lawyer. These are unsuitable working conditions. Thank you, thank you. I do it all for the fans. Oy vey. Oh. Oh, an altered item, you say. That's my specialty. Let's see what it is. A film projector. So that's the altered item. Looks pretty secure. It is dark as fuck. All right. What is no this power. Thing? Typical. Yeah. Thank you for addressing that for me. should hire someone who built smaller machines. Fucking amen. So, we can't get those. I'm confuzzled. Just a wee bit. It is fucking pitch ass black. So what am I for to do? Is there a broken ceiling here somewhere?
Ah, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm hip to it. Something's definitely gotta go wrong. Come on. No? <sighs> to be honest, Diane, I'm surprised. Alright, so does that mean we can go back out here? No altered material detected in area. Personnel may now safely enter. I wonder how it knows it's an altered item. Even for me, even for me, that was terrible. Guys, it's too late. Altered item's gone, guys. Talk on both of you at once. How do you like them apples? Um, okay. I recall seeing that yellow over there, which means I can climb. But why would I? Is the question. An entrance to the next area is the answer. That's where that leads. Alright. Good to know. What's that here? Transit access. Yeah, yeah, uh huh, yeah, yeah. Guessing that's where I need to go. But can I not go through here? I can, I can, okay. I, I see what you're saying. But, but, morgue. Ay and then there's this way here. Okay, easy there, Jesse. Easy. Easy, Snookums. Alright, this is the way. Because I gotta go from one thing to another. Let's go here first. And I can't. So. Jesus! Okay, I'll admit that got me. I will fully admit that. New language. For immediate publication, I learned a brand new language. The fish... The fish taught me. You probably don't believe me, so I'll prove it. 
Hulalel Miuti Jer Milu Milu Aubit Us Omen Echo Kido Kip Quido Ert Ert Pipo Horum Eulin Rec I Buit One Four Five Five Os Pirtren Club He knew Two O Two 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 Kidi Wee Whip Eulin In Yum Red Bulsum Kim Zualten Jabini Rog. See? Pu please publish this letter and maybe other fish speakers will get in touch. They'll be able to read my address, even if you can't. Jabini Rog, Larry Humpert. I still like spider time. Okay, we will go downstairs first. Because all the cool kids go downstairs first. All right. Properly trained. Guess I pass. I am very properly trained. Personal not properly trained alternate item handling are restricted. Are they now? I agree. I am very well properly trained. Let me guess. The elevator is an altered item. No. Oh, is that the... Is that the camera? Okay, okay, okay. I'm... I'm excited. Let's do this. I remember that camera. Shh. How the hell did it get out? Are they his shooting movies now? Swift platform. All right, what are we doing here? After that camera and step on it. Oh, this is my kind of music. I do that. Oh, I see. There's another platform. Oh, shit.
shit. He was throwing something at me. That's right, bitch. What's up now? Whew. That was annoying. Has to be done. I just beat the third act villain. Wait. Nice. What? We're back. Did that really just happen? It felt like a dream, or maybe a bad movie. Music was good though. I did like the music. Mission completed. Fucking a. Okay, was it here? Yeah, I was here. Okay, that boss was really fucking annoying. The perseverance and all that. Now we can continue on with the main mission. Uh, the nail. Okay. As I said before, it's so easy to get sidetracked in this game. Like you wanna you wanna complete these missions, you know? Okay, so it was through here. Um Come on. Movie capras movie camera supplement. Okay, so, the item first came to the Bureau's attention after a hospitalized mailman from Blank, Arkansas, claimed his injuries had been caused by a movie camera. Further investigation connected the incident to AI-80, which was being shipped in the mail truck at the time. 
The package camera was later found in an empty warehouse. The return address led agents to a P.O. box located in the San Fernando Valley belonging to a company called Blessed Pictures. Whether Blessed Pictures is involved in the creation and, and dissemination of the item's VHS films is unknown. The following is a list of all known films believed to have been shot by AI80-UE. Shoot First, Die Last, unreleased. Coffee Bullet, Billy's First Car, Bike Hard, and Delivery Disaster. In Shoot First, Die Last, item was used in the filming of an unreleased Western in 1968 on the Italian island of Sardinia. A cast member was killed during an onset incident accident, stopping production. It is believed that Blessed Pictures bought the camera when equipment from the shoot was sold at auction. Okay. And the camera itself. The item should be isolated from any person or event that is objectively interesting since its effect is activated by the presence of dramatic incidents. The movie camera used to make commercial feature films. Internal mechanisms are unremarkable. Subjects near the item will often experience a torqued version of reality, resembling heightened drama and action of a movie. Whether these events are localized, alternative realities, or products of hallucination is currently unknown. Additionally, the item seems to record footage from these incidents and creates VHS copies, edited in the style of short films. During their investigation, agents learned that a podcast titled Brian's Movie Den had reviewed the item-generated movie Delivery Disaster. The podcast... <coughs> Sorry, the podcast creator, Brian Hennerman, was taken for questioning. The staff of Movie Night, the store Mr. Hennerman rented the film from, were also questioned to no effect. Was that that um, recording we heard well, right after we fought Hartman? Where he's like, I'm just like a, I just do like a podcast or whatever. Um, oh man, uh, alternative, no, it's like some kind of interrogation. Uh, not threshold kids, not music. Starlink, no. Uh, FR interrogation, okay. was it? We're gonna try this one more time and then we're done playing with you. Understand. Jelly, where are... No, not this guy. Suspect okay, interrogation. Interrogation 4C pertaining to the Eagle Limited incident and its subsequent... Um, uh, no, that's the train. Brian Hennerman, Brian here Hennerman, we go. 21 years old, resident of Southern Texas. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I really don't understand why I'm here. You know what you did, Mr. Hennerman. I do? Tell me about Delivery Disaster. The movie? I don't... I mean, it wasn't very good. That's not what your review said, but we'll come back to that. Tell me where you got the movie from. Movie night. With a, you know, a K. Not an N. Not, not night, like nighttime, but... Who contacted you? Who told you to review that film? No one. I just did it because it looked obscure. I didn't even like the movie. I shouldn't have given it such a high score, but reviewing obscure films makes you look smart. And I thought if I looked smart, I would get listeners. My podcast would take off and I could move out of my parents' basement. I may even go to college and get a film degree like I've always wanted to. I swear. I swear, I swear, I swear. <sighs> okay, the kid doesn't know shit. I'm ending the session. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. It's funny that we found, from that one tape, we found, like, the whole thing behind it in the DLC. That's really cool. That's really fucking cool. Shift account part three. It's clear no one's coming. We're running out of ideas and supplies. We tried going to the caves to find any anything edible, but all we found were noxious gases and endless pits. The crystals only let us go one way, even though we could see the caves branched out. We did so find some weird spiky pillar. I only got a glimpse of it before the astral spikes attacked. There were only a few of them this time. We lost a lot of people. There's only six of us left. 
We didn't ask for this. We didn't want to come down here. I'm convinced something brought us here. The others say I'm going nuts, but it's clear that this was no house shift. Shift slide a bathroom se a sector over, or, or rotate a hallway. They don't drop full divisions into some caves. We were brought here. I know it. But for what? Why tear us away from our lives just to torture us? If this is some sort of test or mission, then here's some advice for whoever's running it. Give out clearer instructions next time. I hope these notes are a good read for whatever ranger finds them. Fuck you. Put that in your report. Gibbs. Gibbs is not a happy person. I believe it said it was originally a female. It was a female name. It's female with a... With a... Voice box. Like a Adam's apple, I mean. Not sure she's ready. I'm here, aren't I? Yeah, I'm ready. I saved the bureau once, and I'll do it again. Damn straight. Yeah, meanwhile, Marshall just went and died, you know. Fuck. Some use she's been. Oh, boy. Another etching. Like the one I used to get in here. Uh, does this go on? Kind of? Yeah, it does. Leads us back to the crossroads there. Alright. <laughs> the fuck is, is that? Is the lock slash key the board told me about? Making it whole again, I guess. Just doing my job. First one down. Director Faden's got this covered. Oh fuck. healing okay so I'm back here wait did I just make a full circle No, I'm higher than I was before. I'm much higher. Wait, is this a different area? I don't know. Okay, so reach the warehouse path. I guess that means I need to go straight back there. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, that's where we went before. Okay. So we're, we're definitely higher up. Cool. Cool. Oh, there's people here now. Jesse, Hi. Hey. Emily, how did she get down here? What are you doing down here, Emily? What do you mean? You called me down, remember? I'm pretty sure I didn't. No, that's right. You didn't. But then, I remember you needing me to come here. I mean, you even told me how to get in. Let's just chalk it up to synchronicity so we can get to work. She takes everything in stride. 
The board called me down here to deal with the situation. The astral plane is colliding with our world, I know. Isn't it fascinating? I never even considered that the astral plane could be a, a physical volume expanding beyond its dimensional container. The bleed is localized to this area, but its growth rate seems steady. Given time, it will consume the entire Bureau, and possibly beyond. That's what I'm here to stop. The board told me to fix the nail over there by dismantling four locks in the astral plane. Funny, I think it's put itself back together a bit. So that could be due to the law of inverse exchange. For every associated component you remove, this nail reconstructs. Or possibly some variation of anti-sympathy. Don't worry. I'll look into it. Did you notice all the Bureau infrastructure? It looks like there was a research team stationed down here at some point. Do you think Darling knew about this? That's I put money on it. That reminds me. Have you seen Marshall? She contacted me over the hotline, but then I saw her walking around. I haven't seen her. The hotline only connects to extraplanar entities. Or dead people. But Marshall's proved time and time again that she's a survivor. That's exactly what I thought. Anyway, I've been looking into the minerals growing down here. Have you noticed how they insist on maintaining a certain form? Maybe some sort of a, a state memory, or they consciously prefer a certain shape? Or... I think we're on a clock here, Emily. I need to stop the astral bleeding before it brings the oldest house down. See what you can find out from the nail in the meantime. And send out some rangers to look for Marshall. She may be in trouble. Will do, Jesse. If you see anything interesting, remember to take detailed notes. I'll get right on that, Emily. Um, can we talk some The more? rangers have tapped into an old radio network they found around the foundation. So if you need backup, just call them at one of the stations. It's a no. How did the Hiss get into the Foundation? Same way we did, I imagine. But you need to remember that the Hiss are the embodiment of persistence. Their nature seems to be one of force, to find every possible vulnerability and exploit it. Their only goal is consumption. I'm sure there's plenty of goodies for them down here. The Nail, for instance. If the Hiss could corrupt the Nail, I'm sure they would have by now. It must not interest them in its broken state. It's it a good could point, be distracted actually. by the numerous unknown paranormal materials I'm sure are lying around. These are the roots of the oldest house. The Hiss will find plenty of ways to make trouble. They're pretty good at that. So you've never heard of the Foundation, huh? I've never even seen the name referenced. It, clearly it's highly classified, but for what reason? The problem with these kinds of closed-off hidden areas is that they were likely sealed for good reason. But now, no one is left to tell us what that reason was. Any guesses why the Bureau would hide something like this? I only know what I've observed. This place is spatially rigid, which means it doesn't shift like the rest of the oldest house. And before you ask why that is, I have to admit that I'm clueless. There's some signal interfering with my equipment, making it hard to get a clear reading. It's being emitted from the floor. Maybe I should have brought a jackhammer. The astral plane is already taking chunks out of this place, Emily. Let's not add to it. So let me get this straight. The astral plane is bleeding into the foundation. Correct. And that's happening because the nail is damaged. I'd say it's a bit more than damaged, but yes, that is my understanding. So what's the connection between the nail and the astral plane? That's been my question, it's too. a good question. See, I always pictured objects of power as strings between our plane and the astral. If the nail has a similar relationship, then maybe it's more accurate to think of it like plumbing. Now that the nail is busted, sewage is gushing everywhere. Not the prettiest metaphor. <clears throat> but wouldn't that kind of insinuate that the astral plane is outside, like, the boundaries of our universe? Or our plane, I guess? Not a universe, our, our, our plane of existence? Um, and does that mean that there's nothing but the astral plane outside of this plane? That wouldn't make sense, because... There's clearly different dimensions. Is the oldest house part of the astral plane? Or is it the board's presence? I'm not entirely sure. 
Agreed. The Astral Bleed won't stop itself. Okay. So collect reward. Energy recovery. Uh, da, da, da. Kill his snipers. Eh. Sector. We're not going to be able to do any of these anytime soon. Uh, using Pierce, kill his snipers in the research sector with headshots. Eh, why not? And we have 13 points to play with. Um, might as well do this, since we definitely have the points for it. So I had been eyeing that for a while. And we can do full health. And, oh, that's four points, and then that's two. Okay, yeah. We'll save it. There's nothing we could do, right? Upgrade, shatter, construct, charge. And yeah, we never constructed this, did we? Might as well construct it. See what it's about. Because we never tried it. I mean, the cool thing is, even if we switch out the type of gun that we want, um, it, it still keeps the mods for it, you know? Oh, we have personal mods that we need to get rid of. Pretty cool. But kind of slow, you know? <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm just blowing everything up. Um, uh, pretty cool. But again, it's very slow. Uh, and Surge was the shotgun, I believe. Oh, no. That's the grenades. Oh, Shatter was a shotgun. Yeah. So it looks like we've... Uh, uh, what is it called? We've unlocked all the different weapons. I guess we can't upgrade uh, Pierce or what's the one we use? I forgot. I forgot what it's called. Oh, what it does is just adds the extra slots. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, might as well. If it unlocks an extra achievement for me, why not? And I'm just going to take a minute and go through my uh, personal mods here. Okay. And I think we had something new in collectibles. Oh, the hotline. Oh, is uh, it's Marshall's thing? <clears throat> I've served under two directors. Three now, I suppose. Trench and I worked our way up together. We made it through the tough cases, the bad days, the casualties. He was the epitome of a good agent. Smart, decisive, selfless. Then he picked up that damn gun. Becoming director is a formal process overseen by the board. Lots of ritual and mystery. After that, key staff provide detailed briefs on all classified matters. Past and present. But with Faden... Well, there's no protocol for field promotion. The girl's smart, has a good head on her shoulders. I'm trusting her to handle the hiss upstairs, while I hold them off here. All this shit with a nail, 
the board? I'm not sure she's ready. Besides, I work better alone. Ah, oh, come on, Marshall. Have a little faith. Okay, so we want to go this way. Oh, I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, have a little faith in us. path I guess that's where we blast our way in if we had the gun how are they getting power down here oh the generators yeah that makes sense Okay. She's just looking for like documents or like boxes or something to open. Well, I turned something on. For a second, it looked like there were those uh, geysers in here. Uh, this is where I can call in uh, support. This is the director. I need a ranger at this location immediately. Why not? Holy shit. Let's do this! Alright, let's do it. Just give me a minute. Let's before we head up there, let's take a look at these little uh little buildings here. History of the oldest house. This should be good. The oldest house has revealed much to me during my months in the foundation, but many questions remain. Primarily, the tree etchings bewilder me. What's their significance? If the house has changed shape over its lifetime, as I theorized, then was a tree its first form? I sent a team to the Schwartzman building in search of pre-settlement accounts on Manhattan Island. From those, I discovered a single relevant line. And there I found a tree not known to me. The devil twisted within its bark. That line taken with the fact that certain American cultures believe some trees would offer wisdom and guidance is indeed interesting. However, it's hardly firm evidence. And though I'm now bound to the oldest house, I remain a man of science. Of course, there are numerous ancient beliefs regarding trees. Yggdrasil, the tree of knowledge. Yaximiche. I've never heard of that one before. Some cultures offered blood sacrifices to trees, while others claimed trees endowed chosen individuals with inhuman powers. Do New York City's many murders act as a sacrifice for the oldest house? Does the house have a chosen champion? Is it me? This was Dr. Theodore Ash, head of research. So before... Oh, right. This is when uh, Ash was... Um, this is the son of the, the director at the time. So before Darling. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember that. Very interesting. Oh, 
hell is that? Are we gonna need this at some point? What is that? Don't touch! I touched it. What's in there? There's nothing in there. You didn't see anything, Ranger. You did not see a thing. Pyramidic geometry. I've been going through my library, researching pyramids and triangles. That shape does relate to the board as Northmore says, and perhaps our predecessors in the occult can offer some insight through their geometric knowledge. In esotericism, Triangle is closely associated with the Holy Trinity and the other three concepts, three part concepts, past, present, future, mind, body, spirit. Interestingly, the term board also implies multiple parts. Upright triangles in Judeo-Christian imagery indicate ascent into the rational divine realm. Inverted it signifies a descent into the corporeal human. Naturally, the ascent is masculine and the fall is feminine, Adam and Eve. Yeah, that part I remember from, like, the um, the Da Vinci Code, where, like, you know, chalice, blade, female, male, yeah. Um, that's just a bit of old world patriarchy. It's 1964 now, and we're, we're well past that silliness. Considering the above, what does the inverted triangle tell us about the board? They're clearly not corporeal or a human. Perhaps they wish to be, or they once were. The likeliest answer is simply that theological imagery cannot help us define alien entities. But still, the pyramids seem significant. Shapes have power, and clearly so does the board. That was uh, very enlightening. Let's see what's in here. Is this a bureau ID badge? It looks so old. Popal de Sorry, I just want to see what it was. Definitely want to see this. Okay. Great. Another side quest. So, something in there. Alright, Ranger. Let's fuck shit up. So, I'm guessing that's where we need to go. spent inside what we're calling the oldest house. Northmore insists on the name. I'm too tired to ask why. I'm not sleeping well. Northmore named it, eh? Her orders. Me and my research team have established a permanent examination lab in the foundation. I basically live down here now. Like the obedient head of research father raised me to be. I spend my days investigating that odd pillar when Northmore found the handgun. The work was half-hearted at first, I admit. But then I discovered numerous non-Aristotelian energy channels converging at its base. Ley lines, dragon roads, Heiligalinian, call them what you want. But this pillar is the crossroads. I started building something. Equal parts talisman and technology. An array that can impose order on the lay junctions. That's the idea, at least. We'll see when I'm done. I prefer to work away from the pillar. I'm not the only one who feels like that thing has eyes. So I don't know why it's taking so long for me to put this together, but this DLC clearly seems to be uh, about the history of the, the oldest house, uh, the board, how it all came to be. Is 
Is that thing not in there? What is going on with that? <clears throat> okay. Uh, warehouse entrance, I guess? Oh, that's where we are. I wonder if that opened the door down there. No, it did not. So that just circles back, and we need to go, we need to go, I see you, oh man, there's a lot of them. you run to okay guess that's all of them I guess we would have been attacked if we went up on the uh, on the elevator I think I saw him now Weird place to leave an ID card but okay yes okay, so I'm guessing that other thing down there in that locked area was also an ID card because it looked small and rectangular What's in here? Anything of import? Another ID card. For a cartographer. So I guess we're just grabbing this stuff now. Uh, and this is also locked. Okay, so what did this open? Was this our way back? Oh, shit. Why was it telling me left trigger? Oh. Right, I forgot about that. And look at that, my energy is recharging. Fuck yeah. That is awesome. Okay, this seems to be a dead end. Yeah. Okay. Where's my ranger buddy? Did he fuck off? Yeah, you know, that's okay. I prefer to work alone anyway. Alright, let's head on up. Power cores. 
After numerous attempts, I finally found a way to intercept and contain the ambient energy of the ley lines in a kind of non-Aristotelian battery I've dubbed the power core. I admit it was difficult capturing an energy I can barely measure, much less interact with. Luckily, it seems that the porous stone of the Foundation's caverners, caverns possesses such conductive qualities. Using stone flakes and copper wire, my power cores collect significant power. My early prototypes collected too much, in fact, but I've since reinforced the container. We don't know, we don't yet know the repercussions of tapping into this power field. As a precaution, these devices should not be taken outside of the house. Ideally, the Bureau should no longer need to rely on typical energy resources. It's my greatest feat of engineering yet. I've always had an interest in invention. I like the creativity that it that it allowed, set within the firm boundaries of logic and physics. Father never approved, calling it a mundane science. With that in mind, I'd dedicate this in invention to Theodore Ash Sr. May he scowl in peace. That's pretty funny. So that's cool. He basically created a uh, means of unlimited energy. Good for him. Multimedia should be what we just heard with Ash a little while ago. Yeah. Okay, so... Ah, back here. That is a lot of power cores. Like, a lot. But only one is active. Two are active. But why? that to give me access to another floor yes it did tunnel access search for objects similar to the service weapon. He claims there are more in the house. But really? I see how he's so certain. He's been strange lately, talking about joining greater causes and frequently mentioning the pyramid. After pressing him, he finally described this pyramid to me. Inverted, black, mathematically perfect. Oddly enough, Adam and the other id have shown me numerous inverted triangles painted on the cave walls. <clears throat> Surely there's a connection. I don't see it yet. As far as occult symbols go, triangles are by no means rare. Flood, Levi, Kroll, they used that shape like it was going out of fashion. Standing on their base, triangles signify stability and strength. Inverted on their points, they represent conflict and stagnation. Of course, the orientation is just a matter of perspective. Looking at the pyramid from below gives you one, from above, another. Northmore says he looks up at the inverted pyramid. I have to wonder, is anyone standing over it, looking down? That's a scary thought. Um, I don't agree with this, uh, theory that there's more weapons, like the service pistol, because isn't that exclusive to the director? Oh boy. 
Um, okay. Wow, there's a lot more up there. And there's a lot of hiss stuff going on. Okay. Lots to look forward to. Interesting. Hello? Anyone here? Well, that's interesting rock formations. Um, dare I say, nowhere near natural? I was waiting for the boom where, like, they would all fall down. Oh, this is an arena. Oh, those are lights. I'm like, what the fuck are those? There we go. Another token. I hear ya. I hear ya. Where are you? Oh, I thought there was another one around. Sounded like there was. Anything of import around here? Any documents or tapes or. Okay. I definitely hear something. Paranoid. Worst I've ever seen is take the nail. End of the world. No, I can't let the hiss take the nail. Not a problem. I know how to handle them. That we do. Uh, online. End of the world. I snuck into the foundation through a back door I know. Had to get ahead of the hiss. Just a matter of bypassing the ritual protections. Luckily, the board's as distracted as the rest of the bureau. I had to put on a brave face up there. But the situation is the worst I've ever seen. We're getting back on our feet, but we've already lost so much. Trench is dead. Darling is... somewhere. Somewhere. I'm the only one left. But I still have a job to do. Keep the hiss back. There's not enough HRAs to spare, so I'll have to make do with what I've got. Frankly, I don't even know what will happen if the hiss take the nail. Trench made it sound like it'd be the end of the world. He was never one to exaggerate. Well, orders are orders, even if they come from a dead man. By the way, in the in the last video, I was making a comment about why they don't just um, uh, 
you know have the have like the certain resonance playing through like the speakers throughout like the whole building and just drive away the hiss. I completely forgot we need a black rock prism to, to create that kind of resonance or at least amplify it. And they're a rare commodity around here, which is why we have to go to the black rock quarry to begin with to even get one. Um, so yeah, I kind of uh, completely forgot about that. At the same time, now that uh, Polaris is part of Jesse uh, and we are a natural deterrent against his, we, we create our own resonance. Um, hopefully we, there's a way that we can, you know, kind of mimic that ability and, you know, give it to everyone else so everyone can be resistant to the hiss. It won't necessarily get rid of them per se. So, like, there's no way it'll stop them getting out into the world. But let's start, you know? Where are we going? Okay. That was the wrong button. Oh, shit. Yeah, I wanted to get off that because limited time. Scare the crap out of me. Alright, there's something going on there. Okay. Chances are we'll make our way around there anyway. And another control point. three uh, ability points. There we go. What's up, fellas? Someone else? Oh, hi. Come on out. He fell for the oldest trick in the book. Okay, we got a lot of... Ah, uh, so that's where we were. Okay. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff there. Oh, boy. Okay. So we go in there. Oh man. OK. 
Okay. Does that come back? No, it does not. Um. How do I get that? Do I just call the elevator, maybe? No. Maybe? Something's going on. need a battery. So I'm guessing I need to go down to a lower level. Or not. Tunnel access. Hmm. I'm thinking of going down to a lower level and grabbing... Whoa. Let's try it. Let's go... No, we wanted the power cores. Saw that other one lighting up over there. But now the other problem is I don't think I can go up to the fourth floor. I'm gonna go up to the third. So I may have to go all the way around again. I guess I'll be right back. Alright. Let's see if my brilliant idea works. Hey, look at that. So I'm guessing... Oh, wow. So I'm guessing if we go on a higher floor, it's going to break it? So we're level 5 right now. Nope. That did not work. Oh, there's multiple... Oh my god, there's a lot. Yeah, so this is like the only way to do it. Okay.
Yeah, how'd that work out for you, asshole? Alright, let's try this again. The fuck is that? Looks creepy as fuck. Good. Lollipops. Hello? Horde, are you there? <laughs> okay, what the hell is going on? Wait, I'm back here? So they're giving me both. You know what that thing looks like? It looks like um You should kinda of better not be your director. Wasn't my idea. Blame the eyeball. Former. Yeah, we've had our differences. But it is giving me something you won't. You know what that looks like? It looks like that um, when we were when we first went to the Panopticon, and uh, there was that fridge, that sentient fridge, that like the guy had to keep watching. He was there for like God knows how long, sitting in a chair, just looking straight at the fridge. Um, and then we went inside the fridge to basically cleanse it out. There was that giant fucking I don't know millipede with like the eye. That's what that looks like. And they said it was like. Um, the board said it was something like uh, uh, before them or something like that, or something that broke off from the board, something like that. So looks like we need it both anyway. Using the service weapon. So they do reform. That's good to note. I don't like you deciding what I can't slash can't have. Seriously, why aren't they letting me? Can I just bring it back up? I can. I'll stop it from regrowing. I actually want to see. Yeah, it looks like it stops it from regrowing.
But why? Like, that's... That's, like, such a big question that's not being asked. Why are we not allowed to have these abilities? tired of being jerked around the astral plane if you're listening i want some answers i don't think the board is here i have a feeling we're about to see that buck thing again with a with a one eye Oh, Jesus. It's fucking terrifying, man. Like, seriously, to me, this is... This is like Cthulhu levels of terrifying to me. Imagine, like... It, it, this is like some deep ocean shit, or like cosmic shit, that just terrifies me. Uh, hi there. It was nice of you to give me something the board wouldn't. What are you getting out of that? <laughs> so, I'm just supposed to believe you're a particularly charitable, uh, whatever you are? <laughs> Hungry? I mean, yeah, actually, I'd love a sandwich or something. That's not what you meant, was it? Are you part of the board? Or used to be? Okay, so you split because the board blamed you for... <sighs> Gotta be easier to play charades. Do I need to rescue someone? I don't know what I expected. Listen, this has been great, but I have to go. Thanks for your help and uh, stay out of trouble. <laughs> Should I trust either of them? It's... <laughs> Remember what I was saying before about, like, I love how there's, like, the double speak, like, the slashes. Like, there's no... Um, what they're trying to say isn't coming across like perfectly, you know what I mean? Like it, their, their intended word, like we necessarily don't necessarily have it in English kind of thing or in any human language. Um, I love how they're kind of using it in this context because it could literally mean like the words that the former is giving us could literally mean anything. You know what I mean? It's, it's like, it's giving you all the puzzle pieces like here, here's all the puzzle pieces uh, that you uh, to make the puzzle. You just don't know what it looks like. You know, you you're kind of starting around like the edges. You have some idea of what's of what it's supposed to look like, how big it is, you know, that kind of shit. But we don't know what it's supposed to portray. That's what's going on here, and I'm wondering if they'll even tell us. 
I don't know if there's any kind of sequel plan for this uh, for Control. I have no idea. Um, I I hope there is, but I I really don't think they'll tell us. I could be wrong. I mean, only one way to find out, right? Just keep playing. Oh, that's a long way down. Uh, I guess I'm going back. I guess, yeah. No, I don't think I'll be jumping. warehouse entrance. Like that, did you? Hello. Oops. Where'd you go? Oh, hi. Jeez. Jeez, I'm crow. Oh, it's one of you. Can't tell if there's more. I always keep I keep thinking I'm hearing them. Yeah, that's not opened. I'm missing something for this. It's probably that extra battery I need to put it somewhere. I don't know. I will uh I'll come back for that, I guess. Okay, um, let's uh, head back. Seven points. Seven points. Okay. So, yeah, we'll do this. And we will do this. So let's head back to the crossroads. I want to talk to Emily about the that side mission as well. The the ID cards that we've been getting. Might as well unlock it now. Oh, hello, director. Looks like she's got some new stuff to talk about Jesse, too. Jesse, you're back. 
So did you find anything noteworthy? The original Bureau expedition down here left so much interesting stuff behind. Like their ID cards. I picked up a weird one. It's pretty old. Oh wow, look at that. Yeah, I found a few ID cards myself. Or, more accurately, the Rangers found them for me. Are you starting a collection? I'm going for the whole set. I kid, of course. But I suppose they are sort of like baseball cards. Except for Bureau stuff from the 60s. Hey, the one you found is different than mine. It looks like it's a higher clearance level. A rare one, then. Want to keep it, Emily? <laughs> yeah, I absolutely do. But I think you should hang on to it for now. High clearance access might come in handy. Sounds like you have something in mind. Guilty. See, I've been going through Dr. Ash's notes, or the ones I can find, anyway. Like Darling, he seemed to enjoy hiding his most relevant research. From what I gather, there is another floor beneath the warehouse with a special lab that requires five high-level staff members just to access. Here, take this. It's an old skeleton key. Something else the Rangers found. I give them five bucks for every useful trinket they bring me. I'm gonna assume this key is my ticket to that lower floor. And that super secret lab you mentioned. Bingo bango, as Dr. Darling used to say. Well, keep your eyes peeled for more ID cards around the warehouse. If Ash's notes are reliable, and I'm sure they are, then five is the magic number. I thought three was the magic number. All right. Find five ID cards. Okay. The Rangers found a section of the containment sector in the caves. But no house shifts occur down here. Strange. That is strange, actually. I should get back out there. Agreed. The astral bleed won't stop itself. Okay, so... Where am I going now? So I can go this way. Just shoot off that shit. Who should I be listening to? Weird entity A or B? Or neither. Let's just stay the course for now. The Bureau's in danger. We know we need to repair the nail. The astral plane won't break reality on my watch. Maybe they just need to find a way to work together. Whoa, Jesus. In the astral plane. Oh, this bleed is just getting worse and worse. Is this a control point? Oh no, it just brings me back up. Oh, I didn't realize the board was here. That's the cave sand. Looks like the astral bleed goes both ways. Where everything. Dear science, there's a person in my there's a person in my pet salamander. He has human eyes. Why doesn't anyone else see him? I think it's like werewolves, but with every animal. We're dogs, we're cats, we're otters, we're butterflies, we're everything. There are people inside and they can't get out. They're stuck in the animal body. It's not all animals, but it can be any animal. My parents don't believe me. Maybe this has happened before? I thought you should know. Sincerely, John Lomain. I mean, you're going to ask anyone. You're going to talk to anyone about it. It's science. They've got all the answers, don't they? Okay. What a 
what's that? Oh, it's just a platform. Uh... Yeah, I don't think I can make that. close. I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to get on top of that. This in the astral plane? <laughs> that doesn't look so well. Keep pressing the wrong button. Sounded like it hurt. I'm finding traversing with a gun better um, than, um, you know, pulling the stuff out of the wall. It's because it makes me nervous. So looks like I'll have to go up there. What are these? Just things I can lift. Okay. Neki Neko procedures. Oh, this is the um, in the the luck and probability lab, like the the cat that does that. So containment procedure, none known. A ceramic beckoning cat figurine, common luck object found in Japanese storefronts. The following is a list of the uh, of the items observed altered effects: non corporeality, affinity for a specific human behavior and minor physical movement, waving its arm. Multiple simultaneous incarnations of this item have been observed. Whether these are independent altered items, acting uniformly, or replicated instances of AI-41 is unknown. Or oh, 48, sorry, is unknown. How the items originally arrived in the oldest house is unknown. It was, a first, it was first discovered sitting in the director's chair and was immediately contained in a panopticon cell. The next day, an agent noticed two additional figurines had appeared. Hours later, excuse me. Hours later, all three had vanished. The items had been sighted throughout the bureau, appearing while agents perform blank tasks. It is theorized that fulfilling certain unknown criteria will encourage the items to appear. Present location is unknown. It was in '99. I wonder if they found. Like the one in the luck and probability is like the original one, or there's still like two or uh, two others kicking around somewhere, you know. Oh my god! How am I gonna make that? Okay, I need to reach that one. Oh my god. How the fuck am I gonna reach that one? I 
And there's more too. Fuck me. All right. I think I upgraded my energy. I probably should have upgraded the the time to float. everywhere. Alright. Remind me, the bureau does not have windows. If you notice a window, immediately close your eyes and make your way to the nearest safe room. You are permitted to fashion a blindfold from an article of clothing. Any resulting lapse in dress code will be excused. Thank you for your attention. Wait, did these go in here? I did not know that. Oh my god, how many of these did I miss? Uh, was it like two of them? I think it was like two of them. I did not even realize that. Now I know. Fucked up by a stone guy. How does that feel? Okay, so that goes there. I'm so confused. What are we doing here? This is just the astral plane like encroaching on on our plane. But what is the board doing here? And why are they not talking to us right now? Okay, I wasn't... Not that I wasn't paying attention, but I wasn't focused. Yeah. 
Bye bye. I really hope I didn't to accidentally toss it over a ledge or something. Because that would be, um, be pretty bad. Oh, it's right there. Don't talk to us anytime soon. Let us know what the fuck is going on. I'm doing all this for you, you know. I don't know if you can see this because I don't know if I'm really here. I see a pen in my hand. I see myself, but it's all wrong. It's the wrong angle. It's the wrong me, and it's all green. Look out for the color green. Everything turns green when it's close. Don't let it get close. Don't let it in. But if you do, no matter what, you do not speak to it. Please, I need you safe, Peggy. I don't want you to end up here too. I don't know where I've gone. That's really fucked up. What is this one? Astral Mimic. Oh yeah, that's terrifying. Uh, Astral Copy. All right, we read this one last time. Astral mimics are physically indistinguishable from astral copies, but considerably more dangerous due to the fact that they possess para-utilitarian abilities. The most notable ability witnesses levitation. It is unknown how this astral entity gained its paranatural abilities. The relevant object's power are currently bound to Director Faden, which indicates the objects are not responsible. However, objects' power are intrinsically linked to the board and the astral plane. 
A similar link between the objects and the mimics could also exist. Or perhaps the board is able to dispense these abilities at their leisure, with no trial in the astral plane required. The prevailing theory, however, is that the entities are simply replicating observed abilities performed by the Hiss or even the director herself, thanks to a prolonged exposure to our world caused by the astral bleed. Yeah, I, I don't think the board is acting against us. But yeah, I think they could easily control these fucking copies or mimics or whatever if they really wanted to. God, fuck off! Uh, but what I was saying earlier is that it's it's really sad that like, um, how many of these people? just got sucked into the astral plane while they were just working down in the foundation area. Hell, even the lower areas of the oldest house. Right? And they just were stuck here. God knows what happened to them. They fall off. They die of starvation. And no one knew. God, do I have to go back, really? Can I make that? Uh, yeah. Two points. Of course it's two points. I mean, I could reset my abilities, but I'm not going to. How big is this fucking area, man? Feels like I've been here forever. No, I don't want that. You're mine. Yeah, you guys fight each other. Hey, asshole. I mean, he was just standing there. He saw him. I mean, 
Sure, you just walk right off. Is there anyone else? Flyers? No flyers. Oh, right there. So where is this thing? Where is the cube so I can put it in there? Oh, it's right there. to happen. Is there another one? And this one? Oh, I see. I need to break it. So oh, it actually falls in there. You know, the one thing I will say, as cool as this game is and its environments, it really doesn't change it up all that much. And it keeps you in these areas for a very long time. Like, look how much we fucking traversed, man. Like, through all this? I've been here, what, half an hour? Like, the environment's getting boring, man. Like even the um, even the office areas. Like it just gets boring after a while. Like give me something new. And, like, look, again, don't get me wrong. This shit's terrifying, man. Like, if you fall, like, you're falling forever kind of thing, you know? Like, you're, you're stuck here. You're dead. But at the same time, it's like... You don't have to make the levels, like, 45 minutes long, you know? Like, I'm clearly hitting it. Almost fell off there. That would have been really bad. Seriously? Can I get up there? Like, how many control points did we claim in this area alone? Like, five? Area. Yeah, it's even unmapped.
Uh, hopefully this is the last of it. Or no, there's another control point here. Look at that bastard. Fuck out of here. That's right, fight each other. Fun. There's the etching. Anything before I go? Nope. Fuck it. Let's get out of here. Oh, thank you.
to break off every single one. No. Oh, come on. So long as it doesn't get in my way. Amen to that. Over these problems is something Trench would do. But I've got my intuition. And you. Yeah, exactly. They can work out their own shit. They can work together. Like, the board is the one that brought me here. If they're not going to give me all the tools, then fuck them. Any new Emily? Abilities. Okay, so I'm actually gonna level up. Is it all 10%? Yeah. Okay, and I'm actually going to call it here, folks. Um, we did quite a bit this episode. Uh, doesn't seem like a lot, but uh, we started the whole DLC. We got through three of the four nails, um, and it's taking a lot longer than anticipated. So did the Alan Wake DLC, to be perfectly honest. it it A lot of it felt like um, this one, too. It feels like it's um, throwing a lot of padding our way. You know what I mean? Um to kind of extend the 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 gameplay of the DLC, like the, the time it takes to complete it. I'm not hating it, don't get me wrong. I'm still enjoying the hell out of it. It's just a little bit frustrating. You want to just kind of get... You, you want to move on, you know what I mean? And it's taking a it's very sweet time. But hey, you know, more more content, more gameplay means more fun to be had. But we will certainly continue on in the next one. I imagine we'll finish this DLC and we will move on to the other uh, side quests, uh, to the you know main game proper. And um, yeah, I believe we'll have one more episode, maybe two. We'll see how it goes. But um, yeah, we're pretty much nearing the end. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.